construction of RCC design. Construction of RCC building required some of paperwork before the start of actual construction. The very first stage is preparation of drawings as per requirements of client. Once drawings are completed approval of drawings is important. After approval of drawings from both architect as well as structural engineer, the next step is marking of plot boundaries. Cleaning of plot. Site preparation consists of clearing away the trees from your building site. This involves the removal of trees, roots, and other vegetation from the building site. After cleaning the site plot, marking of plot should be done as per drawings. Excavation A structural engineer will be needed to determine the depth of the excavation. The depth will vary as per building depending upon soil strata. Excavation should be carried out as per the drawing's defined lengths and widths. Excavation is to be done by the JCB. PCC After the excavation the surface is leveled. PCC poured over leveled surface. Foundation shuttering Shuttering arrangement for foundation is to be made. Once PCC is done, shuttering for foundation is placed. It should be strong enough to withstand all types of dead and live loads. Foundation bars Foundation bars shall be laid on the surface. Main bars and distribution bars shall place as per drawing. Column bars Prop arrangement to be made for column bars with links as per drawings. Alum steel and foundation steel to be tied properly to avoid joint cracks. Reinforcement shall be as per bar bending schedule prepared according to drawing. The reinforcement shifting and binding shall be started as soon as shuttering is completed. Reinforcement binding shall continue as shuttering work is progresses. Concrete work and foundation. A foundation is a poured concrete pathway that is used to spread the weight of the building from the foundation to the soil. It is very necessary to check the levels of foundation before concrete work. Depth of foundation varies from 1.5 to 2 meters. Shuttering removal. The formwork removal procedure should be supervised by the engineer to ensure the quality of hardened concrete in structural member. That is, it should be free from or has minimum casting defects such as honeycombing, size and shape defects, etc. These defects in concrete influence the strength and stability of structure, thus immediate repair works can be done or the members can be rejected. Backfilling Once the foundation is completed, backfill the remaining excavated area around foundation with soil. Backfill provides stability to the building a Euro trademark S foundation. Beam reinforcement shall be as per drawings top bars, bottom bars and stirrups to be placed with proper development length. Joints in the beam shuttering should be tight against leakage of cement grout. 
Construction of shuttering should permit removal of various parts in desired sequences without damage to the concrete. Beam concreting. Beam is poured with concrete with grade mentioned in the drawings. The positioning of reinforcement should be properly aligned. Shuttering parts and connections should be arranged in a way that makes formwork removal easy and simple, prevents damage to concrete and formwork panels so that it can be reused without extensive repair. Slab concreting. Great slab requires no reinforcement as it's resting on ground strata itself. Top of plinth beams and great slab should be at the same level. Column shuttering. Column shuttering should be rigidly constructed and efficiently propped and braced both horizontally and vertically, so as to retain its shape. The shuttering should be set accurately to the desired line and levels should have plain surface. Column concreting. After the concreting of footing is complete, immediately in a day or two starters for column should be casted with proper alignment. Columns are very important members in RCC design. Wrong placing of column may affect the overall behavior of structure. Concreting of RCC columns should start from the center of vertical bars and go towards the ends. Column shuttering removal. Shuttering should not be removed until the concrete has developed sufficiently strength to support all loads placed upon it. The separation of forms should not be done by forcing. It may damage the hardened concrete. Beam reinforcement. Beam reinforcement shall be as per drawings. Slab reinforcement. Slab reinforcement shall be as per drawings. Main bars and distribution bars shall be placed as per design. Slab reinforcement should be properly anchored with beam bars. Slab shuttering. Beam bottom is first laid on the column and then slab shuttering is laid. Beam. Beam and slab levels should be maintained as per drawing. Slab concreting. After the concreting of column, beam and slab concreting shall start monolithically. The top of floor beam and slab shall be maintained as per levels. Slab shuttering removal. Special attention is required for shuttering removal of flexible members such as beams and slabs, as these members are subjected to self-load as well as life load even during construction, they may deflect if the strength gained is not sufficient to handle to loads. Shuttering should not be removed until the concrete has developed sufficiently hardness.